Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. So today our topic of discussion is another area of digital transformation which is called as document classification. Right. Uh, now you must have seen my earlier videos on transformation. I talked about digital signing earlier. If you have not seen that, I would provide the link here. Please have a look. So without wasting time, let's start the topic of discussion today which is another extension to uh, document modernization or document classification that is uh, we will talk about that in today's session now the basic question that comes here is that why are we so worried about document classification so this is a very small area um, but we failed to recognize that almost 50% of our time in a normal lending origination or even some uh, further processes in document servicing, in loan servicing, almost it takes 45 minutes. If I'm just giving a rough figure, so nearly if you say around 50% of our timing for processing a loan goes in only identifying what document it is and what content is there in that document so i believe this is a huge loss of our processors productivity so to address this issue which was there in every loan processing there has been series of uh, things which were done in past but Nowadays, if you look at some of the modern solutions, uh, I would not say that we have reached 100% of all document classification problems are sorted, but still we have come a long way ahead. Now let's look at how has this document classification evolved over time. So initially we started this document classification with a rule based framework. So uh, you would have seen that okay uh, we or banks used to ask for a documents in specific file format so for example your pdf format for your statements or uh, even have your image formats jpg formats for your identity documents like that so basically it all started with understanding that okay if we would be able to limit our documents to certain file formats it would be easier for us to put a rule based framework that okay if a document is of this format categorized under this right so then it evolved to have a specific naming convention so wherein there were rule based models which were built to read the names and classify the documents accordingly it again enhanced to reading content using your optical character recognition which is quite modern days otherwise just uh, uh, taking a scan of the text documents text and then converting uh, the content to some uh, format which can be read by our machines and finally the uh, comparing these words to a fixed library uh, to identify that okay if this kind of text comes in this document so probably that comes under a particular type of document so for example if i get let's say um, uh, rupees or dollars or numeric figures it is probable that we are talking about the financial documents of the customer right right so in that way rule based framework is designed to do document classification but that was never enough right so later on we move to statistical format or a modern term neural network format artificial neural network form or format where we built models uh, taking artificial neural networks or even con, uh, concept mining or we use lot of decision trees to 
classify the documents into different categories now day by day as we talk these kind of uh, solutions are actually getting modernized to address your document classification problem with a huge accuracy now the question here is that if we do that where is the benefit that i'm getting so we have to see that okay if i would be able to classify all these documents and read the contents properly definitely this will take us towards an accelerated workflow and with a lower cost because you won't need that many people to read these contents and derive uh, insight from it your workflows would be accelerated and it can be done with much lower cost now because this is a standardized method of reading and recording the document and document contents it also increases our compliance needs that okay this particular document if has these 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 content then this qualifies for further processing right so these kind of compliance can be better achieved by this now the third thing is better document discovery so if you can classify these documents correctly and their contents correctly then we are moving towards a better document discovery instead of going through these documents and recording the insights your discovery becomes much easier that we, we can easily understand that what is the content in this document and if it, it is of use or not now overall all this resulted in a reduced turnaround time because now uh, our documents which was taking initially 50 percent of my time gets reduced now finally this also adds to the benefit of overall ease in document management because now the contents and the documents can be stored in a better way and insight can be derived real time throughout the life cycle of the customer's engagement right so overall document management though it looked simple when we started our discussion you can now realize that this will help us in a lot extent now if we are saying so much about document classification let's look at few players uh, in the market now if you see all major document management systems it might be your google stack or it might be amazon stack uh, it uh, uh, might be any other uh, your document cloud all of these players have also developed solutions and integrated in their framework that can help in some level of document classification so i will not take names of those so these are few names which are actually only giving solution towards your document classification and content reading so your major names come as parascript parascript is one of the major players who provides document classification reading uh, content you would have heard about doc sumo and snorkel which are quite prevalent in terms of financial data reading there are companies like smarts soft your extract and litstream which are also quite evident in any kind of document reading fotra clipa and fly uh, file cloud are also some of the solutions who provide very advanced ai based solution on document classification so this in a nutshell my summary about what is happening in the area of document classification how the modernization or transformation is happening and how it is helping in overall uh, financial services or a lending life cycle if you uh, like my content please consider subscribing it thanks a lot for watching my video viewers